In this video, I'll briefly explain where each CAN cycle is typically used. I'll start at the top of the list with the G73. The high speed PEC drilling cycle is typically used when the material breaks into small chips such as cast iron or when long stringy chips are not a concern. The G74 will create a left handed threaded hole. This tapping cycle will spin the tap counterclockwise to the bottom of the hole where the spindle will change its direction of rotation to clockwise while the tap is removed from the hole. The G76 precision boring cycle will feed the boring tool from above the hole to the bottom of the hole, dwell, then stop the spindle, orient it, and move away from the wall by the Q or I and J amount, and then wrap it out of the hole. This cycle will ensure there is no scratch on the wall of the bore. The G80 code is used to cancel any of the active fixed cycles. G81 will feed the tool from above the hole to the bottom in one motion and then wrap at the tool out of the hole. This is typically used for reaming, short hole drilling, counter sinking, counter boring, or when PEC drilling is not a requirement. G82 functions the same as G81, but allows for a dwell or pause to be programmed once the Z depth has been reached. This cycle is often used when spot drilling. The G83 cycle is the same as the G73 cycle except every time the cutting tool drills a peck increment, the G83 cycle brings the tool out of the hole to the programmed R value, whereas the G73 merely backs off the tool tip a small amount to break the chip and continues drilling. This cycle should be used when it is critical that the chips be removed from the hole between each peck, or if you are uncertain of how the material will chip, it is safest to first program a G83 and then if the material allows for it, change the cycle to the G73. G84 is the right-handed tapping code. It will spin the tool clockwise while it feeds to the program depth. Then it will reverse the spindle and feed the tap out of the hole. The G85 will feed the tool in and out of the hole, but will not allow it to dwell at the bottom of the hole. It is used when issues such as concentricity, roundness, taper, or surface finish are not to the required specifications. The G86 will feed the tool from the programmed R level to the Z level, at which point the spindle will stop while the tool rapids out of the hole. This is considered a rough boring operation as it tends to leave a spiral scratch on the bore. G87, also known as the back boring cycle, will rapid the tool to the bottom of the hole with the spindle stopped and oriented off center by the Q or I and J amount. It will then recenter the tool on the hole, start the spindle, and feed out of the hole. This has the advantage that all of the chips fall below the tool as they are created and should not interfere with the cutting or the surface finish. The G88 cycle will feed the tool to the bottom of the hole, dwell if required, then stop the spindle and wait for the user, who typically will put the machine into manual mode, perform some required function such as cleaning the chips out of the bore, the user will then place the machine back into the memory mode, press the cycle start button, and the tool will wrap it out of the bore. The G89 cycle is the same as the G85 in that the tool feeds in and out of the hole. However, it will allow the tool to dwell at the bottom of the hole. In the next video, the parameters which can be used in these cycles will be explained.